2024 June 23rd. Daily Bread Passage. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 to 22. Key verse. Verse 9. Title. Suffering for doing good. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. For, whoever would love life and see good days must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech. They must turn from evil and do good, they must seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Who is going to harm you if you are eager to do good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear their threats, do not be frightened. But in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Keeping a clear conscience, so that those who speak maliciously against your good behavior in Christ may be ashamed of their slander. For it is better, if it is God's will, to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body but made alive in the spirit. After being made alive, he went and made proclamation to the imprisoned spirits. To those who were disobedient long ago when God waited patiently in the days of Noah while the ark was being built. In it only a few people, eight in all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also, not the removal of dirt from the body but the pledge of a clear conscience toward God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Who has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand, with angels, authorities and powers in submission to him. The world repays evil for evil, insult for insult. As God's people, however, we should reflect the love of Christ. We are to be sympathetic, loving, compassionate, and humble. We are to bless and not take revenge. How can we do this? As quoted from Psalm chapter 34, Peter said that the Lord's ears are attentive to the prayers of the righteous. When we look to God in prayer, seeking to do good, He will bless. We can also do good by remembering our Lord Jesus. He suffered for the unrighteous to bring us to God and to set the captives free. He is now seated on the right hand of God. We may suffer in this life for doing what is good, but we must remember that our reward is with Him. People might slander, but they will soon be put to shame. As we journey through this world, instead of taking revenge, may we reflect Christ. For those who suffer for what is right, they will surely be blessed in the age to come. Prayer Lord Jesus, you obeyed the Father's will and suffered for the unrighteous. Help me to reflect you while in this world, not seeking revenge, but doing what is good to bring glory to God. One word. Suffering for doing what is good.